Everyone makes some brief introductions within the meeting room before taking their seats. There have already been many factions within the Black Corner region, which had been turned into a bloodbath by the Hall of Soul. However, those fellows have already been eliminated. Xiaoyan looked at everyone before he slowly opened his mouth and said, The face of Su Qian's group involuntarily twitched upon hearing this. Given these people's terrifying strength, it was not impossible to exterminate the entire Black Corner region. The Black Corner region does not have a great enmity with them, does it? Su Qian laughed bitterly. The Hall of Soul was a faction of the Central Plains. There is seldom any interaction between this place and the Central Plains. Hence, they were unable to imagine why the Hall of Soul would do such a thing. Xiao Yin exchanged glances with Meng Tian Chi before nodding his head. After which, he opened his mouth and summarized the occurrence on the Central Plains. This also included the current fight between the Alliance and the Hun clan. You are really extraordinary. In over a decade, you have actually already reached this level. Su Qin's eyes watched Xiao Yin in surprise. Although Meng Tian Chi had only briefly mentioned some matter, Su Qin was still able to sense the soul stirring incidents that had occurred. Old Qin, Old Bai, Wu Hao, and the others involuntarily nodded. When Xiao Yin had left back then, he was merely at the Dohuang class. Now, however, it was likely extremely hard to find any expert in this world who could match Xiao Yin. This achievement really caused one to be amazed. Based on what Headmaster had said, the reason that the Black Corner region has ended up attracting such a disaster is actually because of the magma world under our academy? Old Xian and Old Bai looked at each other before speaking with startled faces. The bottom of the magma might have something that the Hun clan required. Meng Tian Chi nodded and replied, The Hun clan is usually ruthless. In order to successfully obtain what they want, they will kill all life within this Black Corner region. This is not a difficult task for them. The ones who had come this time around are merely the vanguard. Soon, it is likely that the Hun clan army will also arrive. At that time, there will definitely be an earth-shaking big battle in this place. These students must not remain here, Xiao Yin said. Su Qian and the others looked at each other and laughed bitterly. It was really a big trouble that had appeared from nowhere. This place was merely quietly teaching students, who could have expected that it would attract such trouble. Moreover, the source of the trouble was actually the strongest faction on the Dou Chi continent. If it is not because all of you had arrived in time, it is likely that blood will really flow like river across the Black Corner region. Su Qian sighed quietly. They had also witnessed the techniques to those fellows from the Hun clan earlier. If it was not because Xiao Yin had appeared earlier, a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood would likely have been formed here. First Elder, relax. The Hun clan might be powerful, but my alliance army is not afraid of them. We will not allow them to easily destroy the JIS Nan Academy, Xiao Yin smiled slightly and comforted. The Academy is a small matter. It is fine as long as everyone is all right. Su Qian shook his head. Immediately, his eyes looked towards Xiao Yin. There was a gentle and pleased expression in them as he said, After so many years of experience, that young fellow from back then had finally become a true expert. Xiao Yin will always remember how First Elder has taught me back then, Xiao Yin softly said. His tone was sincere. From a certain point of view, Su Qian could be considered half of his teacher. When the youth had arrived at the academy back then, Su Qian had given him much help in many matters. At that time, Xiao Yin was merely a youth who had carried some hatred and miserably fled from the Jian and Academy. Ha ha! Since you have come to my academy, it is something that I ought to do. Su Qian waved his hand and laughed. He he, this little fellow is currently on equal terms as the clan head. Now that we put it this way, it seems that I am a little superior to him here. Meng Tian Chi by the side laughed strangely. He had already treated Xiao Yin as a monster. The first time they met was at the empty realm lightning pool. 
At that time, Xiao Yin was merely at the Dozun class. However, no one could imagine that within a short few years, the latter had already surpassed him the next time they met. This speed caused even him to laugh bitterly and exclaim. After all, the name of the top person amongst the younger generation of the continent was definitely not an empty one. When he thought of how this top person had actually come from the Jian An Academy, Meng Tian Chi involuntarily felt a joy in his heart. Xiao Yin shook his head helplessly. His expression was solemn as he said, Old Chi, you should pay more attention during this period of time. Once you discover the appearance of any experts from the Hun clan, you will issue a warning. The reinforcement of the alliance will gradually hurry over. Xiao Yin Ji Ji? Sun Er blinked her eyes and said, I will head to the magma world. Xiao Yan's eyes hardened as he spoke in a deep voice. He must confirm just what strange aspect was present in the magma world below. Su Qin was startled after hearing that Xiao Yin was about to venture deep into the magma world. However, he quickly relaxed the moment he thought of the terrifying strength of the former. Although the magma world was mysterious and unfathomable, it should not be difficult for her to escape unhurt with his strength. Xiao Yin Ji Ji, why don't I go down together with you? Soon Air knitted her brow and spoke in a somewhat worried manner. If the ancient god mansion was really present below, it would be difficult to predict the danger involved. After all, anything a Dodi left behind would not be simple. There are hardly any of us here. All of you should take care of the academy. Xiao Yin shook his head and smiled. Relax. With his current strength, even if there was really an expert comparable to Hun Tiendi at the bottom of the magma, he should be able to escape even if he could not defeat the other party. Sun Er did not say anything more after seeing Xiao Yan's insistence. She simply nodded gently and voiced some reminders. Let's not delay. I will leave immediately. Xiao Yin was someone who acted with lightning-like speed. Since they had already made their decision, there was no need to waste time. Hence, he directly stood up. Su Qian and the others exchanged glances upon seeing this before nodding slowly. The bottom of the blazing Sky Chi refining tower in the inner academy. Xiao Yin stood at the entrance into the magma world. He suddenly beckoned with his hand and many invisible flames suddenly flew out from the blazing Sky Chi refining tower before gathering into a cluster of invisible flame in his hand. Falling heart flame. Ha ha, it has been so many years and it has grown quite a lot. Xiao Yin smiled as he looked at this invisible flame in his hand. This thing was the baby-formed fallen heart flame that he had found within the magma world back then. However, after growing for over a decade, it was clearly much stronger as compared to back then. This little thing had consumed a great amount of our effort. Su Qin laughed. In order to groom this fallen heart flame, they had put in a great amount of hard work during these years. Fortunately, it was all worthwhile. The current blazing Sky Chi refining tower was much more effective compared to back then. After all, that matured fallen heart flame from back then would not listen to their orders. On the other hand, this current fallen heart flame did not feel any resistance to their orders due to it being groomed by them over a prolonged period of time. Xiao Yin smiled and nodded. He flicked his finger and sent this fallen heart flame, which was quivering in his hand, flying away. After which, he once again looked at Sun Er and the others. He said, Wait for me to return. I, be careful. Sun Er softly instructed after hearing this. Xiao Yin smiled and did not continue to hesitate. His body flashed and turned into a black light which directly rushed into the magma world through the tunnel below. The magma world was stilled completely crimson even after so many years. At a glance, one was still unable to see an end to it. Xiao Yin was suspended above the magma. He lifted his hand to look at a dugout cave a short distance below. A smile was revealed on the corner of his mouth. It seemed that he had recalled the bitter days of training he had experienced in this place back then. I have finally returned. 
However, this time around, I wish to see just what exactly is below. A flash passed through Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the sea of magma below. The purifying demonic lotus flame surged out from within his body. Finally, it turned into a fire glow that rushed into the magma with a splash. It stirred waves of magma waves as it entered the magma. Splash! Xiao Yin swiftly ventured deep into the magma after Xiao Yin entered the magma. The surrounding magma would automatically be vaporized when they entered a five feet radius around him. With the might of the purifying demonic lotus flame, it was clear that these magma did not have the qualification to pose any obstruction. Xiao Yan's current speed was many times faster compared to back then. Within less than 10 minutes, he had gradually ventured deep into the magma. At the same time, his body had also become much slower. His expression was calm as he watched the surrounding of the magma. It was possible for him to sense that there was quite a lot of obscure auras swiftly approaching him. That kind of magma creature, huh? Xiao Yin smiled indifferently. His foot gently pressed under him. Immediately, a vast and mighty spiritual fluctuation surged from his brow. In an instant, the surrounding magma was blasted apart. Many figures hidden within the magma suddenly emitted a sharp, miserable screech. Kikui. The magma fluctuation around Xiao Yin became even more intense after these screech sounded. After which, Xiao Yin saw the densely packed bright red figures rushing over from all directions and completely surrounding him. Xiao Yin's eyes swept over these lizard-like magma creatures. Finally, they paused at a spot a short distance away. Two completely cream-white lizard people were standing there. They appeared much older than the other lizard people. The most surprising thing was that the strength of these two lizard people had actually reached the Ban Shang class. No wonder Tian Huazunja had ended up dying here back then. There are actually such existences amongst the lizard people. A sudden comprehension rose in Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the two lizard people. Immediately, he rejoiced slightly. Fortunately, he did not meet these people back then. Otherwise, it was likely that just a slap from these two would be able to kill him at that time. Human, this is the tomb of the god. It is not a place where you should venture. Quickly return. Otherwise, you will end up dying here if you awaken its guardian. One of the two white lizard people actually began to speak the human tongue while Xiao Yin was quietly feeling shocked. Although it appeared to be unfamiliar with the language, those words were still transmitted into Xiao Yan's ears. Tomb of the God? Guardian? Xiao Yan's eyes flashed upon hearing these two terms. A red flame surged within the Maga. Xiao Yan crossed his arms over his chest. He looked at the densely packed mysterious creatures around him and laughingly said, Since there is a guardian, may I inquire about what it is guarding? Human, leave immediately or die. The two densely white fire lizard people's eyes were filled with an icy chill as they stared at Xiao Yin. Those words that they were unfamiliar with were slowly spoken by them. The surrounding lizard people revealed some ferocity within their eyes after the words of those two sounded. Their scales had become much darker. Xiao Yin had a calm expression. His face was not altered because of the surging, murderous intent around him. If he had met with this lineup back then, it was likely that he would have been terrified to death. Now, however, two mere Banshongs and a group of insignificant experts did not pose the least bit of threat against him. I will definitely head to the bottom of the magma today. Xiao Yin laughed softly. His body did not move. Instead, a vast and mighty spiritual fluctuation swiftly spread from his brow with lightning-like speed. Buzz buzz. The magma suddenly shook intensely after this spiritual fluctuation spread. There was a vague buzzing sound being emitted. Soon after, the bodies of the many fire lizard people around suddenly trembled. A heaven-like spiritual pressure rose from deep within their souls, causing them to tremble. Their formation became a complete mess in an instant. 
The two completely white fire lizard people had a change in expression upon seeing this scene. Before they could let out a sharp cry, however, the magma in front of them had suddenly exploded. A vast and mighty indescribable fluctuation ruthlessly exploded on their bodies. Bang! Tens of thousand feet of magma waves swiftly spread. The two white fire lizard were directly blasted away. Blood was spat out from their mouths. Their eyes contained a rich shock as they looked at Xiao Yin. Get lost. Xiao Yin had a stern expression. A thunder-like cry exploded from the tip of his tongue. Vast and powerful spiritual fluctuation was hidden within his cry as it violently spread. It directly caused the area within a hundred thousand feet of this magmacy region to form giant waves. Bang, bang, bang. The sound spread, and the countless lizard people around were sent flying away. However, Xiao Yin had controlled his strength well. Although he had forced back these lizard people, he did not take their lives. After all, he was not familiar with this place, and he could not predict just what kind of unexpected occurrence would occur if he engaged in a large-scale slaughter of these creatures. Regardless of what the situation was, this place could possibly have been left behind by the last Do-D on this Do-Chi continent. Being careful was definitely the right choice. The bottom of the magma was turned upside down by Xiao Yin. Those fierce-looking fire lizard had also withdrew a great distance with shocked faces. They looked at the demon god-like figure from a great distance away. That frightening spiritual pressure caused even their souls to tremble. Those who dares barge into the tomb of the god will suffer divine punishment. The two completely white fire lizard people swallowed the sweet blood in their mouths and roared with a hoarse voice. Xiao Yin merely smiled faintly in the face of such a threat. His heart began to feel certain that there was definitely something existing at the bottom of the magma. The tomb of the god that these creatures had spoken about was likely the Tu Shi ancient god mansion. A fiery heat rose into Xiao Yan's eyes the moment he thought of this. He licked his lips and his eyes looked towards the black magma below. There appeared to be some frightening thing lingering at the end of this seemingly bottomless magma, which caused one's pores to stand. Hopefully I am right, Xiao Yin softly muttered. His body moved, turning into a fire glow that rushed towards the bottom of the magma with lightning-like speed. Those fire lizards hesitated for a moment as they looked at his figure. Ultimately, however, they did not intervene to stop him. From the situation earlier, they clearly understood that if Xiao Yin had not shown mercy, it was likely that all of them would have already died. Foolish human, you are seeking your own death. The two completely white lizard people exchanged glances. Finally, they snorted coldly and moved, merging into the magma and swiftly heading into the distance. Without the obstruction of those fire creatures, Xiao Yan's speed had also increased greatly. However, regardless of how frighteningly fast he was, he was still unable to reach the end of the magma. The road in front had become viscous and blurry because of the rippling magma. Xiao Yan frowned slightly in the face of this situation. However, he did not give up. The depth of this magma sea had far exceeded his expectations. This was no longer something that the strength of a person could create. Perhaps only by reaching that level would one possess such an ability. I don't believe that there is really no end to this magma. Xiao Yin let out a low laughter. His body flew past like a meteorite. A vacuum was formed wherever it passed. The magma within it had actually been shattered into nothing. Bang, bang, bang. Xiao Yin charged through the magma with great ease. The color of the surrounding magma had already gradually turned from bright red into complete black at some unknown moment. After the magma had turned into this color, Xiao Yan's speed had also been greatly reduced. There seemed to be a kind of mysterious heat hidden within this magma. This heat energy was something that even the purifying demonic lotus flame could not easily purify in a short period of time. After the change of the surroundings, 
Xiao Yan's eyes had also began to flicker rapidly. However, the caution within his eyes was gradually became denser when a forewarning suddenly surged within his heart. Immediately, he stilled his rapidly descending body. Puff! The magma around Xiao Yin shook and exploded as Xiao Yin came to a rapid halt. His eyes directly looked in front of him. From his spiritual perception, this place seemed to be the end of the magma. However, he could only see an endless magma. Xiao Yan's eyes continued to flash. Suddenly, he extended his hand. The purifying demonic lotus flame surged over it and gently touched the magma in front of him. Buzz! The magma began to fluctuate as Xiao Yan's hand touched the magma. His hand directly disappeared. That manner was as though he had touched the boundary of another realm. A realm is hidden at the bottom of the magma. Xiao Yin watched this scene and involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air. He currently possessed the ability to build a realm. However, it was likely that even Hun Tiendi and Gu Yuan would find it extremely difficult to build a realm at the bottom of this magma. The two Shi ancient god really lives up to his reputation. Xiao Yin laughed softly. A shock appeared in his calm heart. The only person in the last 10,000 years who had the ability to do this was that only Dou Di. At this moment, Xiao Yin was already 80% certain that the Tu Shi ancient god mansion was located in this place. A wild excitement leaped within those dark black eyes. Xiao Yin merely hesitated for a moment before he clenched his teeth and suddenly stepped forward. He directly strided into the realm at the bottom of the magma. Chi, the original magma flow that filled his ears disappeared the moment he entered that mysterious space. A somewhat dim and quiet endless space appeared in front of Xiao Yin, slash this realm had been quiet for an unknowingly long period of time. The entire realm was filled with an extremely ancient scent. Xiao Yan's eyes slowly swept over this place. It was completely empty. There was nothing strange. He frowned slightly as his body cautiously advanced. Xiao Yin flew through this empty space. He finally paused a couple of minutes later and focused his eyes on a spot in the distance. There was a vague cluster of light suspending over that place. Xiao Yin hesitated for a moment as he looked at the cluster of light. Finally, he clenched his teeth and flew over. With his gradual approach, the situation within the cluster of light was caught by his eyes. It was a stone door, a hundred thousand feet large stone door. The stone door quietly stood in the empty space. It was as though it would exist for eternity. An ancient, desolate aura slowly spread from it and reverberated over the sky. There was a similarly large square in front of the stone door. Xiao Yin paused at a spot that was a great distance from the ancient stone door. His eyes dully watched this mysterious scene within the dim space. At that instant, he was actually left speechless. Xiao Yin appeared just like an ant as he stood in front of the majestic stone door. A respect surged within his heart without him realizing it. Soon after, however, he was suddenly aware that a caution had rose within his heart. This stone door gave him an impulse that he could not control. The entire place was indeed extremely mysterious and unfathomable. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the stone door. Finally, they paused at the top of it. Three ancient words were present. His eyes suddenly shrunk when they drifted towards those words. His heart began to pound wildly. Ancient God Mansion the ancient words did not appear overly beautiful. It was ordinary, but it seemed to possess an endless night that seemed to control the world. I have finally found you. The smile on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth suddenly widened as he looked at the three ancient words. The smile on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth had lasted only for a moment when a chill suddenly appeared in his heart. It was as though there was something observing him. This feeling caused Xiao Yan's expression to gradually become solemn. His eyes swept around him, but he did not discover anything. A moment later, 
His eyes narrowed, and he slowly lowered his head. At the same time, a fire pillar shot out from his finger. The fire pillar spread over this dark world. Xiao Yan's eyes also hardened at this moment. He was stunned as he looked at the space below. The blood on his body seemed to have stilled. This is... Xiao Yan felt as though his skin had exploded within the quiet space.